Hi guys, behind me is a Monero 298 2017. Now it got washed up to shore uh, in a heavy windstorm onto the rocks and it got some heavy damage to the bottom of the boat. Now we already did a video showing the repair of the stem up front there. Um, so now I'm going to show you the other repair which is at the stern area along the keel. There's about a 10 foot section where the hull actually cracked, uh, water got in there. So the first step we need to do, because we have to repair the outside and the inside, we need to remove the engine. Now it's got a six cylinder, 400 horse Volvo engine. And uh, so we're gonna pull the leg first, we'll then pull the engine, and we'll have to remove the fuel tank as well. So we've been taking the uh, diesel out of there. Uh, once that's empty, then we can get the tank out. You can see the pretty extensive damage there. We've got the anti pellets stripped off. This gray is the epoxy, and then the white's the gel coat. You can see the roving there. That's for a raw water wash down pickup. Over here there's a transducer that will have to come out. Going all the way back. Goes all the way to the end there. As well there's some bunch of chips along the, the corner here. Alright, so we got the engine out. It was a real tight fit. We had to turn it 90 degrees to get it up out of the, the opening uh, and it was just enough to get it over the top of the boat there so we had to drop the boat a little bit uh, we put it on those stands there uh, it's just we had about an inch clearance now you can see uh, there's a crack right down the center of the boat So what we do, we take our hammer here, we can test, see that's solid. These are uh, stiffeners with, uh, made from half inch plywood, so there's a bit of separation there. See how hollow that sounds. Stringers are solid. Transom is solid. Let me check around the motor mounts. There's a crack right there. Solid up there. That's a transducer that will have to be removed. It's all separated here. First, the center will all have to come out. Right here was a through hole. So we'll have to remove the tank as well. But we'll have to do this in sections so we don't lose the shape. All right, so we got the fuel tank out. It's uh, 124 imperial gallons. And if you multiply by, I think, 1.2, that gives you U US gallons. So it didn't come out that smoothly. One issue was this fill spout was a little bit high and we had to do some cutting inside. Uh, the other problem was the, it was hitting the motor mounts. Uh, so we had to trim those off a little bit. Now what we did notice down here it's a bit of a a ding there. Now that's right where it sits on the hull stiffeners so when it was on the rocks it, it uh, pushed right there and got a little damage. Now it didn't leak the tank was about three quarters full we got all the fuel out before we brought it out so here's where we had to cut. 
See that there? Uh, we have to cut that out um, just to get that uh, tank out. We saved a piece, got it taped right there so we don't lose it and we can put it back when the tank goes back. Now the other problem was right here. We weren't able to slide the tank far enough back to get it out so we had to cut the corner of each of the motor mounts off and again we've saved the pieces. Oh, there you go, there's one, the other one's around. So looking forward here, now the tank started uh, right here. Now the crack goes, ends about there, so we're about six inches into the tank. You can see the lighter areas, that's the delamination. Got my hammer here somewhere. Um, here we go. See that? Solid there. These are the stiffeners. That's, that's all solid. That right there is where the damage on the tank is. You can see the glass is cracked right there. Solid there, not there. So the next step, we're going to start peeling off this loose glass. Now, when the boat was built, we did an extra layup in between these stiffeners. So from here up to here and this here is what's peeling off. So we're going to do this in sections. Um, we'll figure it out as we go. So we've removed the We've removed the extra layup along the keel all the way to the transom and then we also cut out the stiffeners along the starboard side right to there uh, so beyond that it's solid uh, and it's solid up there and the wood was wet uh, and, and separated uh, from the glass in some areas so we haven't done any grinding yet uh, but now we're ready to start grinding and so we've uh, chewed out most of the loose glass and then ground it uh, now we're putting a layer of uh, we've got a mat a biaxial and two mat just down the center line. Uh, we've uh, put some duct tape underneath where the, uh, the crack is so the resin doesn't uh, drain through. Duct tape. We've got the first unit on with, which was uh, mat and biaxial and, and two mat. Uh, so we finished right through. And then uh, the next unit we put on a mat roving mat. Now we didn't put any over the this wood stiffener because uh, we don't want to build up any height there uh, because it was very critical for the height for the uh, fuel tank to get it in and out. So we've done nothing on the outside yet. We just want to build up the inside to a certain thickness and then we can start uh, peeling away these layers uh, up outside here you can see that we just don't want to lose the shape that's why we started on the inside 
Next we've put uh, another unit of mat roving, mat roving. So two mat, two roving. Just between the stiffeners. Uh, still curing. The third and last unit is a mat roving mat which was placed just between the stiffeners um, and then we made new stiffeners there that's a half inch plywood they're about four inches wide at the base uh, and then those are paste that's that green stuff polybond and then glassed over so that finishes the glassing uh, on the inside so next we go outside and start peeling off uh, those loose layers so they've started peeling off these layers using the chisel and the hammer there we go just a bit at a time and you can see there's the pile so it really minimizes the dust you don't have to grind so much we just about finished the removal of all the loose fiberglass on the bottom here by a series of chiseling and cutting and grinding and it's pretty hard to show you there but maybe right there you could kind of see it's pretty thick right there um, they got a little bit more to do see that's all solid it's a little bit a little loose there still to do there. Solid there. You can see the it's uh it's quite dark where it's dark uh, that's solid but here you can see it's it's lighter it's separated so that's loose. Next step building the structure back to its original thickness. So we started with uh, putting some polybond, the green stuff there, in the low parts. So a little bit here and there. Uh, and then we did three mat, and then two units of mat roving mat. So there's some areas that are, are still a little low. We'll build that up with some more mat, and then we'll start fairing it. So if we do the little hammer test here. Yeah, so it's solid. After the last layer, they put uh, a few more layers of mat and roving in the low spots just to build up to minimize the amount of filler we use. And then they've uh, started on the fairing. So this is all a 3M waterproof filler. And it's just about done actually. Um, looks pretty straight. Once that's done, it's just finishing off with the epoxy, which is here, and then the black micron CSC anti fouland The bottom's now epoxied and painted with the anti fouland so that completes the job. Looking good. That concludes this video. The boat has been saved. I hope you learned something or at least found it interesting. Thanks for watching.